What's up guys, I'm Hussein from RossmoreTech.com and today we're gonna play around and unbox the code book. Now the code book here was designed for teaching programming. It doesn't just teach programming, it does a lot of cool things. Now the purpose of the code book again is to teach people how to code. Again, if you're an expert, you can take advantage of the code book because it has a lot of cool features that we're gonna talk about later on. Now, the coolest part about the code book, it's only $20, 20 bucks. For 20 bucks, you can design a lot of cool programs and learn how to code and have fun learning how to code at the same time. What makes the code bug fun to program is its programming environment. As long as you have a web browser, you can program with this code bug right here. And it's a completely graphical programming language like Scratch. If you guys don't know, uh, MIT created a programming language called Scratch, which uses blocks. It's completely uh, web-based and it's completely graphical, just like code bug here. It uses the same type of graphical like programming that makes programming fun. If you're into programming, this will definitely bring back the love for programming like it did for me. And uh, again, it's for beginners, it's for experts, and it's only $20 and it's freaking amazing. And we're gonna box this and test it out right now. All right guys, so this is the actual code bug here. As you can see, it says right here, code bug. And it says on here, it's easy. Learn to code the fun way. That's the picture of the device here. And on the sides here we got, and it says code bug, drag and drop programming, loads of fun, quick and simple online guides, content, code bug, and it's uh, powered by a micro USB cable that connects to the code bug and directly to your computer. And the back here says code bug is your wearable friend that teaches coding and how to experiment with electronics. Under it, it says features, 25 LED displays, two push buttons, six crock clip ring, for touch, inputs, and outputs, Suable teaches programming, problem solving, electronics, and digital creativity. It's got the website there. And on the other side here, it's got play, code, invent, and create. Pretty freaking cool, so let's open this up. I'm gonna lift this off here. All right, so this is the code bug in the box. Let's just put it aside first, see what's inside the box here. It doesn't got much, it's got this micro USB cable. That's all it needs for data transfer and power. Doesn't need a battery or anything else. It just uses this cable right here. Let's see what else is in the box. It's got this code bug quick guide and it shows you how to go step by step at how to use code, how to transfer the code to the code bug and all that cool stuff. It's also got the safety instructions guide here. All right guys, as you can see, this is the code bug right here. And these are the two push buttons you can program. It's got 25 programmable LEDs down here that you can use and program. It's got different types of input and output on the sides of here that you can use for uh, creating robots and all that cool stuff. On the back here, it's got a place where you can put a battery so you don't have to have it connected to uh, the USB cable. But if you don't have a battery, you can keep it connected to the USB cable, that's fine. And on the back, this is the actual micro USB port. So pretty freaking cool, only $20 and you can do a lot of cool stuff with it. So let's get started with the programming. All right guys, so now we're actually gonna play around with the code book. You should be able to see me. I'm recording the screen. You're seeing me through my webcam. And I have another camera covering the code bug here. It's all real time. If I move my hand in front of the code bug, you should be able to see my hand. Everything's in real time. So again, first thing we need to do, connect our micro USB cable to the code bug, which I did there. Connect the other end to your computer. Like so, it should light up. That's how we know it works. Again, it doesn't need a battery. It runs off your USB power. Now the next step is to open up a web browser and navigate to this URL, codebug.org.uk. The link will be in the description. But navigate here, then we're gonna click on this getting started. You can watch the video if you want, but I'm just gonna click on this link here. It should bring up the instructions. To create a code, all you have to do while you're in this URL or while you're in codebug.org.uk, click on this create tab, and then you can create the code then uh, what you do is you download the code to your computer. You click on the, it has a download button when, you, when you're ready. After you downloaded the code, next step is to unplug the code bug. Hold down the A button of the code bug. Hold, keep holding it down, unplug it, and plug the USB back in. And it uh, treats the code bug like it's a uh, USB flash drive or a mass, massive drive or whatever you want to call it. So all we have to do is drag the download file we, that we just downloaded into the code bug and unplug it, plug it back in, then press the B button and our code should execute. Pretty simple. Again, after you finish uh, creating the code, download the code, hold down the A button, plug in, while well, hold down the A button, keep holding it down, plug in the USB cable, then uh, transfer your downloaded code to the code bug, 
unplug it, plug it back in, press the B button, and your code executes. Pretty simple, right? Let's create our first code here. Click on this Create tab. Again, uh, code bug, uh, everything is completely visual. This is a visual programming language you use. Just like uh, Scratch, if you ever use Scratch, and it's it works with blocks. I freaking love this programming language because it makes programming fun again. And these are the blocks. These are the different types of things you can create. Like It's got basic, 5x5, five five, sprites, inputs, outputs, color trails, if, loops, logic, math, and variables. All cool stuff you can do. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna mess around with some of those stuff today, but uh, this is the beginning of the program. The orientation or direction is set to up. We can change it to down, depending on your programming needs. I like my orientation to be up or direction to be up. And sleep after three minutes that's fine. Let's say sleep never that's fine. Now let's create a simple uh, code where uh, the LED lights turn on and off. We could select which LED light. This has a 25 LED array, and it has an X and Y coordinates, and it's numbered. That's how you're able to specify which specific LED you want, on or off. Uh, horizontal is the X axis from left to right, and vertical is the and vertical is the Y axis up and down. So let's say we wanted this uh, LED light, which is uh, X axis zero, Y axis four, right? All right. So now we can. Uh, set that light on by selecting this under 5x5 display, grab this set pixel X and Y to a state. We could click it onto this code here and it snaps in. Again, this is a completely visual programming language. So we could say we want th this uh, LED light on. It has an X coordinate of zero and Y coordinate of four. So we set our X coordinate to zero and our Y coordinate to four. And the state is one. We want one because one is true and one is on. Zero would be false and off. So basically when I hit play, it should set that one LED on, as you can see it did. This is here is a little uh, virtual representation of our code bug in real time. So whatever we uh, do, we can see it before we actually download it to our code bug. So basically it turned this LED on. Again, Y coordinates is up and down, left coordinates is right to left. And it's their number from zero to four. So that's how you're able to find which LED you want on and off. So let's say we wanted uh, we wanted to use some of the inputs and create variables. Let's first create a variable. Let's get this out of the way and let's drag our variable here and click it onto here. Let's say we want our variable to be called, let's give our variable a name. Let's call our variable LED. We want our variable to do something. So let's go back to five by five. Let's drag this code again or actually let's go to sprite let's drag build sprite click it onto here the way this build sprite works uh, whatever uh you click on check off that's going to be on so that that variable will see it as on so i'm going to create a smiley face here i saw this example on the ben heck show so i'm going to create a smiley face with two eyes sorry two eyes and a nose. So this is a smiley face here. Wherever I checked off, I wanted that LED on. So basically this variable holds the state of this LEDs. So a variable again is a placeholder in memory. So we created our variable. Let's do an if statement and or a loop. So we can keep this going on forever. Let's drag this loop here and let's click it onto here. And we want to say if uh, Actually, we, we don't want this loop. Let's go grab another loop. We want this loop here, repeat while true. So this is going to go on forever. So for repeat while true, we want it to do something. We want it to, uh, let's go back to, let's say sprites. We want it to draw a sprite. This is a command here. We could click it on under here, drag it onto here. So we want it to interact with the sprite. So we're going to tell it, we, we want a variable. We want to give it a variable, our variable. LED while our variable LED here. This is what I did here. Uh, we created this loop. I said do this loop as long as it's true while uh, the, that means that the loop is going to go on forever. So in this loop I added this code here draw sprites. So it's going to draw the sprite in the loop and I, I, I attached our uh, variable which is LED and our variable LED we set to, to the state here. We, we basically uh, we want we build a smiley face. So basically when the program starts it should build a smiley face. As you can see here, it 
build a smiley face. So I'm just going to get rid of these two here because it, it wasn't a true smiley face. So if I hit play here, now it's a true smiley face. So we're going to download this code and we're going to uh, transfer the code to the code bug and let's see if it works. Again, hit save here. Then I'm going to hit save. Now I'm going to click on this download. So now we're going to download the code. Once you hit save, don't forget to give your project a name, then click on download. And it's downloading right now. It'll give you like the tips right here on how to actually do it. Again, the way this is going to work, I'm going to close this. I'm going to actually open up my documents here and find that the code that we just created. That's this one right here. I'm going to click on copy. And we're going to disconnect our code bug. We're going to hold down the A button plug our code button in while we're holding down the A button. And as you can see, it treats it like a mass storage drive. So this popped up. And uh, all we have to do is paste our code to here, the code we just downloaded, and close this, unplug our uh, code bug again, plug it back in. And as you can see, it drew a smiley face. <laughs> our code worked. It's as simple as that. All you have to do is design it, create it on a web browser, save it, download it, and just transfer it over to the code bug, and then you can test it out. It's that simple. I freaking love this code bug. It, it makes programming fun again. And if you if you're a beginner or if you're an expert, you'll love it. You can do some pretty cool stuff. Like you can use these inputs and outputs right here and there on here to uh, to run motors, to create robots. Again, if you're an expert, this is perfect for you. If you're a beginner, especially for kids, this is perfect for you. And if you love programming, this is going to bring the joy in programming back. All right, guys, if you guys want your own code bug, I'm going to leave a link in the description. If you want me to do more videos of the code bug, uh, like this video so I'll know that you guys like the video and I'll do more videos and we'll create some more cool projects with the code bug. So that's it for this part. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com, and thank you for watching.